The Treaty of Lausanne, French, Traité de Lausanne, was a peace treaty negotiated during the Lausanne Conference of 1922-23 and signed in the Palais de Rumen, Lausanne, Switzerland, on 24 July 1923. It officially settled the conflict that had originally existed between the Ottoman Empire and the Allied French Republic, British Empire, Kingdom of Italy, Empire of Japan, Kingdom of Greece, and the Kingdom of Romania since the onset of World War I. The original text of the treaty is in French. It was the result of a second attempt at peace after the failed Treaty of Sèvres, which was signed by all previous parties, except the Kingdom of Greece, but later rejected by the Turkish national movement who fought against the previous terms and significant loss of territory. The Treaty of Lausanne ended the conflict and defined the borders of the modern Turkish Republic. In the treaty, Turkey gave up all claims to the remainder of the Ottoman Empire and in return the Allies recognized Turkish sovereignty within its new borders. The treaty was ratified by Turkey on the 23rd of August 1923, Greece on the 25th of August 1923, Italy on the 12th of March 1924, Japan on the 15th of May 1924, Great Britain on the 16th of July 1924. The treaty came into force on 6 August 1924, when the instruments of ratification were officially deposited in Paris. Topic. Background After the withdrawal of the Greek forces in Asia Minor and the expulsion of the Ottoman Sultan by the Turkish army under the command of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the Ankara-based Kemalist government of the Turkish National Movement rejected the territorial losses imposed by the 1920 Treaty of Sèvres previously signed by the Ottoman Empire. Britain had sought to undermine Turkish influence in Mesopotamia and Kirkuk by seeking the division of Kurdish populated regions in eastern Anatolia, but secular Kemalist rhetoric relieved some of the international concerns about the future of the Armenian community that had survived the 1915 Armenian Genocide and support for Kurdish self-determination similarly declined. Under the Treaty of Lausanne, signed in 1923, eastern Anatolia became part of modern-day Turkey, in exchange for Turkey's relinquishing Ottoman-era claims to the oil-rich Arab lands. Negotiations were undertaken during the Conference of Lausanne, where Ismet Anonu was the chief negotiator for Turkey. Lord Curzon, the British Foreign Secretary of that time, was the chief negotiator for the Allies, while Eleftherios Venizelos negotiated on behalf of Greece. The negotiations took many months. On 20 November 1922, the peace conference was opened and after strenuous debate was interrupted by Turkish protest on 4 February 1923. After reopening on 23 April, and following more protests by the Turks and tense debates, the treaty was signed on 24 July as a result of eight months of arduous negotiation. The Allied delegation included U.S. Admiral Mark L. Bristol, who served as the United States High Commissioner and championed Turkish efforts. Topic. Stipulations The treaty was composed of 143 articles with major sections including The treaty provided for the independence of the Republic of Turkey but also for the protection of the Greek Orthodox Christian minority in Turkey and the Muslim minority in Greece. However, most of the Christian population of Turkey and the Turkish population of Greece had already been deported under the earlier convention concerning the exchange of Greek and Turkish populations signed by Greece and Turkey. 
Only the Greeks of Constantinople, Imbros and Tenedo were excluded, about 270,000 at that time, and the Muslim population of Western Thrace, about 129,120 in 1923. Article 14 of the treaty granted the islands of Imbros, TR. Gokchiata and Tenedo, TR. Boscata, special administrative organization. A right that was revoked by the Turkish government on 17 February 1926. Turkey also formally accepted the loss of Cyprus which was leased to the British Empire following the Congress of Berlin in 1878, but de jure remained an Ottoman territory until World War I, as well as Egypt and Anglo-Egyptian Sudan which were occupied by British forces with the pretext of putting down the Arabi revolt and restoring order." In 1882, but de jure remained Ottoman territories until World War I to the British Empire, which had unilaterally annexed them on 5 November 1914. The fate of the province of Mosul was left to be determined through the League of Nations. Turkey also explicitly renounced all claims on the Dodecanese Islands, which Italy was obliged to return to Turkey according to Article 2 of the Treaty of Auchi in 1912 following the Italo-Turkish War 1911-1912. Summary of contents of treaty Topic. Borders The treaty delimited the boundaries of Greece, Bulgaria, and Turkey. The major issue of the war reparations, demanded from Greece by Turkey, was abandoned after Greece agreed to grant Karagats to Turkey. Turkey also formally ceded all claims on the Dodecanese Islands Article 15, Cyprus Article 20, Egypt and Sudan Article 17, Syria and Iraq Article 3, and along with the Treaty of Ankara settled the boundaries of the latter two nations, the territories to the south of Syria and Iraq on the Arabian Peninsula which still remained under Turkish control when the Armistice of Mudros was signed on the 30 October 1918 were not explicitly identified in the text of the treaty. However, the definition of Turkey's southern border in Article 3 also meant that Turkey officially ceded them. These territories included Yemen, Asir and parts of Hejaz like the city of Medina. They were held by Turkish forces until the 23rd of January 1919. Turkey officially ceded Atikale Island in River Danube to Romania with articles 25 and 26 of the Treaty of Lausanne by formally recognizing the related provisions in the Treaty of Trianon of 1920. Due to a diplomatic irregularity at the 1878 Congress of Berlin, the island had technically remained part of the Ottoman Empire. Turkey also renounced its privileges in Libya which were defined by Article 10 of the Treaty of Auchi in 1912 per Article 22 of the Treaty of Lausanne in 1923. Topic. Agreements Among many agreements, there was a separate agreement with the United States, the Chester Concession. The United States Senate refused to ratify the treaty, and consequently Turkey annulled the concession. Topic. Aftermath The Treaty of Lausanne led to the international recognition of the sovereignty of the new Republic of Turkey as the successor state of the defunct Ottoman Empire. The Convention on the Straits lasted only 13 years and was replaced with the Montreux Convention regarding the regime of the Straits in 1936. The customs limitations in the treaty were shortly reworked. 
Hatay province remained a part of the French Mandate of Syria according to the Treaty of Lausanne, but in 1938 gained its independence as the Hatay State, which later joined Turkey after a referendum in 1939. Political amnesty was applied to the 150 personae non gratae of Turkey, mostly descendants of the Ottoman dynasty, who slowly acquired citizenship. The last one was in 1974. Topic. Debate President Erdogan seeks revisions in the treaty for particular reasons. Topic. See also Aftermath of World War I Ismet Anonu Minority treaties Greeks in Turkey Greek refugees Muslim minority of Greece Population exchange between Greece and Turkey Turks of Western Thrace Turks of the Dodecanese Italo-Turkish War Treaty of Lausanne Monument and Museum in Karagats, Edirne, Turkey Topic. Notes and references Topic. External links Full text of the Treaty of Lausanne 1923. Newspaper clippings about Treaty of Lausanne in the 20th century Press archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.